run KCWWH and right now I'm just here making a video telling you about what I have accomplished. So in the video description just read that for all the information you need. Okay? And this is showing how I did get Windows XP Professional Service Pack 2 installed. And I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so you have to go to the website that I have in the video description. Okay, and I'll just go to that quickly here. Okay. So it's this one. Support.com slash Katie slash 327101 slash EN hyphen US. Okay? And this is what it should look like. Sorry, I don't have a full screen cast it. And it has some causes like boot XP and login UI boot randomizer. So basically, if you try to change what it boots up as, you'll probably get this. And this is what it should say if you have this particular problem. Windows has detected that one or more Perfect Core System Files kernel on your computer has been modified. The service pack contains updated versions of those files, which work to provide a stable environment for your program. Due to this modification, the service pack will not be installed. For more information, see Knowledge Base article, blah blah blah, at support.microsoft.com. That's what we're at now. Okay, resolution. Warning. The following procedure includes steps that may modify the boot.ini file. Improper configuration of the boot.ini file can leave the computer in an unbootable state. We recommend that you back up the boot.ini file before you make changes. For more information on the backup and edit the boot.ini file, click the following article. Num the to view the article, blah blah. So, I am not going to be held responsible if anything happens to your computer, okay? So, go to that. And if you r are risking that this, what I just read, then go on to step one. Click OK to close the error message. Click Start, Run. And then type in A-P-P-W-I-Z dot g p l click ok click the program that customizes the startup graphics and click remove well i don't have it added anymore of course on desktop restart the computer and then try and install the service pack again if it if that doesn't work go to this next step on your desktop right click my computers and click properties i'll go into view Go to advanced, go to settings under startup and recovery, settings, and then you should get this box. Under the system startup tab, under here, put edit, and I don't know where to get the INI file, so it's in that, and then it, you should find where at the end it should say slash kernel equals file name something. Note the kernel file name which is an author blah blah blah. So this is something it should look like. See with kernel blah blah blah, blah at the end. Okay? And after you delete this, this is what it should look like. Boot loader kernel blah blah blah. You'll see that once you go to the website. Or to the app. Okay? So, that's what it should look like. So, I, I don't know if I did it right, so I just copied this that they have right here. I copied that by highlighting it all, right click, and copy. And then I went to this, went edit, and I took all of that, and I pasted what I have. I'm not going to do it again, because I already did that, and I don't want to do it on here. So, then click OK, and then OK, once you're done that. Okay, and then 
Save and close the boot.ini file to start the computer trying to install Jvisar. That worked for me, and it should work for you. And okay, so that's basically everything you have to do. And if it doesn't work, I don't know. And if messing with that boot.ini file screws up your computer, I am not going to be responsible for what you did. Okay? Again, you did this at your own risk. Thanks again. This is ACWWH. See you next time.